No, guys. No, 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 no. This is not a last 16 sickle. I mean, I know it's called a last 16 sickle. I know it looks like a last 16 sickle. But it's not. This is not a sickle. So, I don't know how many of you guys have played Hover Divers 1, but the last 16 sickle is from that game. Okay, it's one of the weapons, along with the Punisher, along with the Breaker, and then the Railgun, blah, 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 some other weapons that came from Hell Divers 1. And most of those are pretty good. Most of those sort of look like and sound like and operate like the weapons, the origin weapons. But the last 16 sickle does not at all. Alright, so I just want to take you through three things that made the last 16 sickle the last 16 sickle. Three really key ingredients that, in my opinion at least, made the last 16 sickle what it was. Okay, the first one is the look and the sound. And I'm not talking about the look of the weapon itself, because that's actually pretty good. They they look amazing, actually. The, like, the one in Hell Divers 2 looks incredible. What I mean is the look of the projectiles, the look of the laser part of the last 16 tickle. This is what the last 16 tickle sounded like and looked like when you shot it in Helldivers 1. How cool is that? So it sounds like a laser assault rifle basically, which is, yeah, what the description says that it is. Now let's look at the one in Helldivers 2, which you're all familiar with, I know. They're completely different. So I don't know what about that sounds like a laser weapon to you, but for me, it does not sound like a laser weapon. The one in Helldivers 1, on the other hand, totally sounds like a laser weapon. It sounds amazing. It's exactly what you would want it to sound like and look like. You know, these are laser projectiles coming out of it. In Helldivers 2, this is the, well, I don't know what this is, these little pellets. Those are just bullets. That may be technically an energy weapon, maybe technically a laser weapon, but that doesn't do it for me at all. All right, so on look and sound of the gun shooting, not a sickle, right? We can all agree, definitely not a sickle. All right, so the next thing that I think makes a sickle a sickle is the way the weapon fires. And there's two elements to this. The first one is the really fast heat dissipation. So this may not sound like a big thing. However, the way that that affected the performance of the weapon and the way that the player used the weapon was massive. So in Hell Devers 1, you could literally fire this thing forever. You could fire it continuously. You never had to stop shooting. Basically, if you hit this particular sweet spot with your fire rate, where the rate at which you were shooting and building up heat was equal to the rate that the heat was dissipating, you could literally fire forever. You never had to stop. And so as a sickle user, you could just spray the battlefield continuously with your laser fire. And it was just also, it was just like this a constant light show going on from the sickle player. And I loved it. I really loved that just as a sickle player myself. I, I just loved having that kind of impact on the battlefield and just the way that I used the weapon. I could just spray it in arcs around and clear out all of the little bugs. And I loved it. I thought that was just such a cool and unique way to use a weapon in Helldivers 1. I just, I loved it. In Helldivers 2, on the other hand, the way the heat builds up and dissipates is it takes much longer for both of those things to happen, which is great. You can continuously fire for much longer in Helldivers 2. You could hold your figure down on the trigger for, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds or something like that, and continuously fire until you reach the end of the clip. So that's good, but you can't fire indefinitely. You can't just continuously fire, even if you slow your fire rate way down so that you're basically just firing one shot after that spool up, you still can't do it. The heat still builds up too quickly. And speaking of that spool up, that actually brings us to the next part of the way that it fires that makes a sickle a sickle, the instant fire. 
So in Helldivers 1, as soon as you press your finger on the trigger, this gun will shoot. And so tap, shoot, tap, shoot, tap, shoot, tap, shoot. That's how the weapon worked. And for me, that made the sickle the sickle. And I mean, most guns are like that. Most guns, as soon as you shoot, the round will come out. It's only in the case of things like a mini gun or your chain gun or whatever, where it has some spool up time. But in Helldivers 2, the 16 sickle has that spool up time and ugh, it's horrible. And that is not what made the sickle the sickle. That is anti-sickle. You know, it's just not, why does a laser weapon need to spool up? I just hate that. Awful, no, awful. So because of this spool up time and the fact that you can't fire the weapon continuously, in terms of the way this weapon fires, no, it's not a sickle. All right, and the third and final thing that I think makes a sickle a sickle is the high fire rate, low damage output. And in this sense, I have to admit that the Helldivers 2 sickle does pretty well. It stays true to the original purpose of the sickle in Helldivers 1, which was to basically spray the battlefield with low damage projectiles and really focus most of the time on the smaller targets. And then when the player needs to kill some larger targets, they need to be really, really accurate with their shots, basically put every single shot on the head in order to be effective. And even then, it's a big struggle. So the weapon had this really huge drawback, which is that you couldn't really effectively kill the larger targets. You'd have to rely on a stratagem, maybe a stratagem weapon or an airstrike or something to take out even like medium to heavy armored targets. And in Helldivers 2, that's basically the case as well. Most of the time you're focusing on the smaller targets and you're using a different weapon, maybe a railgun or something like that, to take out the heavier targets. And otherwise you're mostly just running away from these larger targets while you shoot at them from afar and try to take them down. And so yeah, the Helldivers 2 sickle does function like a sickle in terms of the basic performance. The high fire rate, low damage. So yes, in this aspect, it is a sickle. However, unfortunately, we still have those other two massive elements that really make this weapon not what it's supposed to be. It doesn't look and sound the way that it should, and it doesn't shoot the way that it should. And so my conclusion is that despite this weapon having the name and having the general appearance of a sickle, it's not a sickle. I mean, it's definitely not a LAS-16 sickle. Maybe it's a LAS-17 sickle. Maybe it's a different model. Maybe they could call it the new version, a new variant. Less of a laser weapon, more of an assault rifle weapon. Maybe it's not a LAS-16 sickle. Maybe it's an AR-16 sickle. Name change petition? I just really wonder why they called it a sickle in the first place. I mean, it doesn't look and sound like a sickle. It doesn't work like a sickle. It doesn't shoot like a sickle. This is not a sickle. It's nothing you say can convince me it's a bloody sickle. All right? Change the name. Not a sickle.